Hey, what's going on, everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome, actually, today. Welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. This tutorial is going to be of this mushroom house, and I did one previously to this one. Uh, it was the first version. If you'd like to check that out, there will be an I in the top right corner of the video and also a link down in the description. So if you're interested in the first one, uh, yeah, you can go check that one out, or you could just build this one here, the second version. All right, so we're actually going to check out the house first, uh, just to show you what's inside, just to show you what the actual features are, what makes it different from the first version. Well, one of the main things is that it has this second layer over here, so we have more room. Another thing is that we have these sort of chimneys kind of hanging off, adds for a lot of little details, and I think it adds a lot of life to the build, it makes it look really cute. Also, we have all these little barrels and windows. Everything's sort of just been upgraded from the last one. Um, so there's a lot more to look at. The actual base of the stem is bigger, so we're able to fit more down in this, the base of the stem. So if we look in here, you can see there's a bunch of different things going on here. We have this nice little kitchen area over here with some storage and just this nice little like sitting area. If we actually head all the way up, you can see this is actually sort of the same. Now we have a lot more room in here uh, because the ceiling height has been pushed up and the floor has been pushed down a little bit. So um, I know a lot of people are saying that the last one was a little bit too cramped. So this one has been kind of modified for those uh, different things. Uh, so yeah, this is the bedroom. If we head up here, this is a 30 level enchantment room with all your goodies, all your necessities. You got this new smithing table, or I guess not new, but it has a new, it will have a new function in 1.16. It'll allow you to upgrade your gear, so that's here too. And all of this level 30 enchantment setup is right here at your fingertips. So with that said, we're gonna be taking off shaders and you guys are gonna to need to copy down this layout in your world wherever you wanna build it. So make sure you copy it down, make sure it fits, and this way you're able to, you know, kind of work out the positioning and all that good stuff. So I will let the video run for a little bit and you guys can copy this down. All right, so let's get started here. So we're going to do something a little bit different for this tutorial. It's not going to be sort of a block for block, but yet we're going to build a structure. And then we're going to have to go back and randomize it with different blocks. You'll see what I mean in a minute. <clears throat> so... Let's start off by building this up two blocks right here in each of the corners. So go around one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Then in the same corners, we're going to put some slabs in the corners just like this. And then on top of these two blocks, we're going to go around, put some smooth quartz stairs on top of that. Just like this. Then we're going to build a cross with some full blocks of smooth quartz. On top of that, we're going to put two slabs, smooth block in the middle, and then a smooth stair on top, just like so. And we're gonna do this for the other three sides. So, block in the middle, stair on top, blocks go across, slabs, not stairs. And just like that, you can see, we'll do it one more time. And this repeats for all the sides, just like this. Great. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the sort of this inner parts filling in these sides. So, two upside down stairs just like this on the inside. Then we're going to put some more stripped oak logs or just like that. Not stripped oak logs, stripped dark oak logs. Two spruce stairs on top, upside down stair, stair on the top. Then we're going to bring out this one, put a little lantern underneath, then go on the inside with your door facing just like this. Now for these sides right here, we're going to do some stripped dark oak, just like that. Then we're going to make sure we have our upside down stairs in just like so. Then we're going to go on the other sides here and place on our stairs like regular upside down stair in the middle. And then we will need a block I do not have. And we will put a spruce trap door on top just like that. For the back part here, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to go across with some smooth blocks. And we're gonna go up one more, I believe. We can go up one more. And then we're going to place a slab on top, just like that. Now, we're gonna go back to this back part and randomize all this. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So, stripped dark oak, just like so. And do your stairs on the inside, just like this, upside down. And then we're going to have some regular stairs. Once, upside down stair in the middle, trap door on top, and there you go, perfect. 
If you'd like, you can go, at, go ahead and add in your black stained glass in the bottom here. And there we go. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to fill in and randomize in some white concrete powder. Now, make sure not to put it anywhere where it's going to fall like that. Okay, so you want to make sure there is some smooth quartz below it. So if we just go around the base of the stem, you'll see you'll find areas that are like that. And you can always go ahead in and add in some blocks underneath to kind of support it if that's where you absolutely want it. Um, so, you, you know, we can always modify that for the interior later on. So just like this is filling in, make sure to get this over here. And then we'll have some kind of in the front. Maybe one right there. Like that. And there we go. Lastly, one of the things we have to do for these corners is add a slab on top. That way it makes this, if you put any in here, it kind of makes it blend in a little bit better, like so. Okay, so the next thing that we have to do is we have to go around and fill in all of this. So go in the corners here, just like so. You're gonna put a block here and then fill in that corner, just like that. Do it one more time. Again, there you go. Next thing, we're going to go up and fill in these corners. So we're just basically just filling in wherever there's like a little bit of a hole. Kind of makes it look a little bit nicer. Now, this part here, we're going to add slabs on top of this. Like so. Then a full block. Just like this. And then we're going to have a stair on top. There we go. Next thing, we're going to start filling in with our concrete powder, like this, mixing it in, making it feel a little bit more random. All right, so now we're actually going to start on this part right here, the, the long part going up to the actual cap of the mushroom. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then all we got to do is just basically fill this in. Now again going to go back later and randomize it with our white concrete powder and we're also going to try to poke holes in wherever we can you'll see what i mean by that in just a second so we'll do this real quick and we'll add in our extra little features as well it's just easier this way just to get the structure just like that now you can kind of see it's not as random as this one over here but again we're going to go back in and add those features in a little bit so we're going to go ahead and just mix in some white concrete powder. Don't worry about the middles too much, just the sides. There we go. And we can add some right there, maybe a little bit. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and work on doing this window over here. So we're going to grab some spruce, spruce planks, kind of build this across. Spruce trap doors on each side. Spruce stairs on the, on the front here. I'm gonna go up two, just like this. Put some stairs on the top. And just like the door, like how we have the door down here, it's gonna be the same same routine. But instead, we're going to put some trap doors on the side here, like it's actually like gripped onto the mushroom, just like that. We build this out a little bit more, like so. And kind of put that like that. There we go. The buttons on the front. And we will grab some fences as well just like so and then if you want to go ahead you can add in your black stained glass right here as well like so all right so before we move on to any other parts of the mushroom we're going to start by just randomizing this bottom so we're going to just start by adding in slabs knocking out stairs wherever adding in blocks so you can add in blocks like that you can knock out stairs like this. You know, it doesn't matter if it's real jagged. The more jagged, the better, I would say. Um, the more random it is. So just don't have stairs going the same way just like this. It kind of looks a little bit weird. But just have it so you can kind of knock out some blocks. And add in stairs. Or just kind of just kind of play with the design a little bit. That way it doesn't look as perfect. Um, and just kind of looks a little bit more random. This is up to your bit of own creative decision here in what you want to do you can have things like that where it's like you know a little bit random but also not really um and just it only takes a little bit just to kind of really mess with it and make it look a little bit different from each side so 
Uh, don't go too, too crazy, but, you know, just try to randomize it a little bit. And as you can see, you now it's a little bit more random. So that's all I really go ahead and do is I just replace some stairs, replace some slabs with stairs, whatever. Uh, maybe this is a little bit too perfect. So I'll go ahead, add in a full block with the slab there. And maybe right here we can add in a stair like that. Yeah, so let's go ahead, randomize that bottom real quickly, and then we can move on to the other section. All right, so now we're gonna add in uh, this little balcony area here. So what we're gonna do is right beneath, right beside these trap doors on the front side of the mushroom, we're gonna go add in a spruce plank. Then we're gonna add in a stair right here, just like so. Stair turning in, and then a stair on uh, the other side, just like this. Or no, actually no, we're gonna have one right here, just like that, facing inward, so it has that little indent. And then we're going to have a full block right there have slabs on sides like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and knock out these three blocks, build up two with the stripped logs. Then we're going to have some full blocks of the spruce planks. And then we're gonna have some spruce stairs just like that with the fence building around, connecting each side to the other. And we're gonna add one right there just to add for a little bit of curvature as well. So yeah. All right, so now we're going to be doing this side where we build up the other stem or the start of it at least. So full block right here, slab just like so. Then we're going to have some full blocks in a square pattern just like this. And then in the same kind of pattern, just have it up one like that. Slab underneath, full block right here, slab on the other side, two full blocks going up. Then we're going to have a stair on this side and then a full block right here, full block right here lab right here okay just like that so that's kind of the, the the start of the stem now for this what we can do is we can actually add in a two you know blocks just like this and then a block right there i believe that's where that is going to be starting and then we're going to have two full blocks just like this underneath and then one right here and you can actually I believe you could fill these in just like so. You can have these going around. And then just like this, we can have that on this side as well. This side, don't worry about this side too much because this is where it's a little bit mishy-mashy with the other one. So it's it's going to be a little bit random in the first place. So with this then, we're, all we have to do is add in is some stairs and slabs just right here. Also on this one as well. Oops. Like that. Then we're going to have slabs like of this in like a backwards L shape, just like so. Going around. This one like that. And also this one like that. So again, don't worry about too much about this side just yet because it gets a little bit weird. Then for these corners, what we're going to do is add in two full blocks just like this. And then add a slab right here, not right here. Add a slab right there. We'll do it again one more time. So two full blocks and then a slab on this first one. One more time. Slab right here with the full block and then the full block just on its own. And then same for this as well. So um, so yeah, we can add in our full block here. Full block here. So it gets a little bit weird here, but it's going to be quite fine. Um, and then we can add in, I guess we can add in those two slabs right there with these two full blocks like that. Yeah, we wanna add in two full blocks right here then have our slabs just like this. So that way it matches up and kind of looks a little bit clean. So there you go, there's the underside of, of the mushroom. All right, so time to start the first cap of the mushroom. So what we're gonna do is pretty simple. Now this actually is actually pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is start off by just going around like so, like this. And we're just gonna start off by using red concrete uh, just for the, you, you can choose any color as well. Um, but yeah, we're just going to use red concrete uh, just for this. And then we'll go back in and add all the white spots later. It certain isn't that many. Um, the next step of what we want to do is add in our little blocks just like this. So two blocks in the corner, just like so. Just like this. And then three blocks out front adding this sort of ring that goes around and then don't go over here because what we're going to what we're going to do is we're going to build up the second one um, in due time. So then what we want to do for our next layer is go around just like this, add one in the corner and then just go around 
like that. And add one in the corner, connect that up, one in the corner, and you can leave that just like that. So just avoid going in that area. The next step of what we're going to do is just kind of make a little ring just like this. Now this one we can actually go like this um, and kind of get into this area because you can see this over here is going to come in one. It's not going to be full, you know, fully around like how this one is. So going around like this, adding this ring, kind of following what we've already done. And then the last little step here is just to kind of cover all this up. So just like this. Just like so. And that's it. That's pretty much it to this. And but then what you know, it's kind of it's kind of boring right now. So what we want to do is we want to add in some, you know, some little details. So like little white areas, our white concrete just going back in. Now I did instead of using white concrete powder like we did on the old one, we're using actual con like the, you know, the solid concrete. Um, so this one, this is, this is going to work a lot better. It's going to, you know, you can have the white spots under here without having any issues of it falling. So that's you know, just one of the improvements from the last design. Um, and you, you know, you can always implement any of these improvements on the old design as well. So, you know, if you're, if you did build the last mushroom house, you can always go back in, change up any of the things you might think or use different blocks. I know somebody said that they used acacia wood for this and I thought that was kind of neat. So um, definitely a unique thing to do there. So really cool stuff. Okay, so now time to start this actual window area. So what we're gonna do is add in a little kind of thing like this. Um, and then we're going to have two uh, logs kind of sticking up just like so. And then on the front here, we're gonna have stairs in the front then two buttons up here. And then for this, we're going to have it hang over a little bit. Spruce plank right there. Uh, spruce stair out, out the front. And then on this part, we're going to have it come out just a little bit because this is where our stem, stem is actually going to come up. If you want, you can add in some quartz blocks just like so. Just like this, just to kind of signify that this is where the stem is going to be actually be coming up out of. Um, and yeah, that's how that's gonna look. So then we're going to add in some trap doors on the sides like this over here and grab a few more extra little blocks. And we're gonna add in, oh, add in our, our stairs and stuff. So we're gonna add in this, add in our glass, and then we can also have a slab on the front. Let's grab a slab real quick. So, and then a little lantern dangling down like that. So that's that window done. All right, so now we're gonna do the underside of this mushroom up here, the topper, the topper, <laughs> the top mushroom. So just add in a one more ring that goes like this around. And then we're going to go and add this different kind of ring, just like in the top area here. Then in these corners, just add in little slabs, just like this. And now we're ready to begin the actual underside. So add six blocks just like that and then with the one in the middle so it's just going to be the same routine as what we did for this bottom one we'll do this on all four sides like so there we go and now we're going to add in our stair going upside down like this there we here upside down like that upside down stair and regular slab then we're going to add in a full block here with a slab. And then we can add a full block on the outside, just like that. Full block here, slab, and then full block on the outside. One more time, like this, and one once more, once again, like that. Then we're going to add in our upside down half slabs, like this, top half slabs, whatever you want to call them. Same pattern as what we did on the bottom going around like that and there you go I believe that is the final product of that all right so now we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna finish off of this cap of the mushroom so it's the same routine as what we did on the bottom so we're just gonna be going around in a ring at first just like this one just in a ring like that then we're going to have this upper ring 
just like so. So we meet up with the other side. And then we're going to have uh, this, I guess, third ring <laughs> that goes around. So we're going to have five, blo uh, five blocks in the middle, one in the corner, and five blocks in the middle, just like this. And this is going to continue all the way around. Same, same pattern as the bottom. There we go. The next thing that we're going to have is a little ring that kind of just follows the inside of this ring we just did. Make sure to keep that corner block there. Basically continues around. And then we finish off with a little bit of this kind of just covering this whole top area. Like so. There you go. So, but one last final touch we have to do is actually add in all of the white areas on the mushroom. Just to make it look like a mushroom, you know, and make it look a little bit cool. There we go, just like that. And you can randomize it. You can make the white areas look a little bit bigger than others and different things like that. So go, you know, this is free range. This is whatever you want to do. You can have different colored mushrooms, you know. Like I did for the first tutorial, I had a purple one I was building with just to be in as, as an example as you can build with any color that you would like. There we go. So we just build this up like this. And let's do a little bit more randomization. And I think oh, let's do a little bit more down here. You know, and I think that that looks pretty cool. I'm going to roll with that. All right. So now we're going to add in the, the little details like the chimneys and the windows that we have up here and all the lanterns that go around. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is break out this block right here or these blocks and then break out this block right here. Add a stair here, add some planks going across. Then we're going to have some stripped logs just like this, fences in front of that. Then have some stairs jutting out like so. And then you're going to have some spruce planks like that. And then an upside down spruce stair. Then with the spruce stair in the back and jut out some more of these guys right here. Let's grab ourselves a lantern. And we'll have a lantern just like that with a glass plane in there like so. We're going to do the same thing on this one right here. So stay right here, break out these blocks. And we're going to have some planks going like that. And then some stripped logs, fences in the front, and spruce stairs jutting out once more. Spruce plank, spruce stair, spruce stair up here. Oh, <laughs> wrong block. And then slabs jutting out like that. And then lantern on the bottom. Oh, and then don't forget your glass pane right there. All right, so the next thing we have to do is add in our little bits of chimneys. This is super easy to do. So add a stair right here on this part on top of these three blocks. Then we're going to have a cobblestone just like that. Cobblestone stair facing out like so. Cobblestone upside down stair. Then some maybe random is some of the mossy cobble. Regular cobble. Another mossy cobble. And then we'll have a campfire on top. Around that with trap doors just like so. There you go. You got yourself... A little bit of a chimney design and we'll do the same thing down here so just randomizing different things there on top upside down stair and then we'll have some more mossy and you can always randomize it as much as you want i'm gonna go ahead and go with that for right now have our little chimney just like so, so that way you, know, you still have the same you know kind of chimneys in two different spots and you know they don't actually do anything they're just mainly just for decoration and all that good stuff all right, so actually once you come into your mushroom house here, you're going to be like, whoa, this is a mess in here. How do I start? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that. So just go ahead. See this weird kind of like the cubby hole here. Just fill that in with smooth quartz. Then what we're going to do is basically just go ahead and just see where this this part is right here. All we're going to do is bring down a pillar of stripped dark oak just like that. Then we're going to go ahead, fill this in right here with smooth quartz and fill the rest of this in with barrels like so. Then for this portion right here, we're going to go ahead and add in some stairs like this going around, making sure they're all connected like that. Then we're going to have some spruce slabs connecting all these stairs together. Then we're going to go ahead and just add in slabs right here. And that's it. So you just want to make sure you have a nice clean spruce area like that. 
Then we're going to build up some ladders going all the way up to the top of the mushroom. Stop there and come down to this area right here. Right here, we're going to add in a little spruce guy just like that. And the rest of this, well, this can be filled in with smooth quartz, whatever you like. You're not really going to see it anyway. And then just fill the rest of this in with just regular spruce. So just like that. There you go. And that way you can kind of access this little window right here. Then go all the way up to the top. We're going to leave this all as, well, this right here can get put as smooth quartz. So make sure anything that looks like smooth quartz can get just replaced. And then any holes that you see in the ground now, right here is actually where we want to punch out a hole. So you can punch out this hole. And that way we can access this air balcony and also we can also access this area right here. Now, this is going to get a little tricky. So you want to leave this as is. So leave this open because then we're going to have to add in a ladder that goes all the way up here. And once you see this, this is going to kind of tell you what we need to do for this area. So just fill all this in and just go all the way up to the top. And as you can see, there's a little hole that goes all the way up to this top of the mushroom. This is the second cap. And if we go back down and I access this area, ladder right there. Now, what I recommend for this is, is that you actually go ahead and just kind of flush this out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is add in a nice little spruce roof just to match the bottom of the stem. Like so, we're going to have that going in like that. Then in the corners, I like to add in a little bit of the dark oak to make it all match like that and then for these sides I just like to fill this little part department in um, now for this it's gonna be a little bit tricky but what you can do is add in a bunch of red um, kind of make it all match a little bit better and you can add in a little bit of the white as well now that's the only issue with this wall is that it's gonna have to be like that it's not gonna match the other ones this way it allows you to have a little bit more room to kind of do that and then for this floor as well you can have yourself a little bit of a trap door instead of the ladder that way it makes it sort of this flush floor now you can go ahead and add in carpet and whatnot i will show you an example of an interior of what you guys can do a little bit for this one you're just going to do the same thing so add in your stripped dark oak going around just like this all the corners Fill all this in with red or white, doesn't matter. You can make it random, you cannot. And then just fill in with the spruce slabs, just like so. Spruce slabs, there we go. So that is basically uh, what this room will look like. Um, you can add in an enchantment table up here, whatever. I will show you an example of some different things right now. So again, you can see, you know, we just have all of this kind of filled in. You can see what I mean by uh, the interior layout you can change it however you like uh, instead of having those dark oak pillars in the corner we just replace those with bookshelves and had those go all the way until the end here and that creates a 30 level enchantment table you can add in things on the floor like carpet to break up that that white floor if we go into this room right here you can see we've created a bedroom with some different shelves and different things so you can take a moment just to look at this, copy this down for your mushroom and just kind of see what it's like or pause the video. And if we go all the way down to the bottom floor here, you can see we have the same thing, you know, just different things to make a kitchen, different things to have storage and all that stuff. So, but yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this tutorial. Um, I think this really is a fantastic house. I really like how it turned out. I really like the, just the shape of it. Um, definitely. A big improvement from the last one um, but the last one still does hold I really do like the simplicity of that one this one's a little bit more advanced but hopefully you guys were able to understand that and uh, get that tutorial going pretty good for you if you did enjoy it be sure to join uh, the afterlife discord it's a discord that I'm a part of it's a very active discord and I highly suggest you guys take part in that and joining it and you know you guys can post your mushroom houses in our mushroom or not mushroom our minecraft screenshots channel we have a minecraft screenshot channel in there so that's pretty cool um so yeah you guys can do that and all that good stuff but yeah guys that's gonna do it as always don't forget to be awesome and i'll see you guys next time